Welcome everyone. In order to log apps in the iPad 10th generation, the first step is you're going to open up the Shortcuts app. From here, you're going to select All Shortcuts and then you're going to tap on the plus to create a new shortcut. You're going to see at the top left here, New Shortcut. We're going to tap on this one, Rename, and we're going to rename this to App blocked okay so I'm gonna add the siren emoji here and then we're going to type app locked all right what this does is when you open up a locked app it will show this uh, message here okay next we need to add some actions so we're gonna search for ask for input we're going to tap on this. You're going to see ask for, and we're going to tap on text and change this to number. With prompt, we're going to say enter password to open and then the app name. So in my case, I'm going to lock, let's say I'm going to lock Safari, okay? This can, of course, be any app. Just type in the app name there. Once you've done this, we're going to search for if. And you're going to see if right here. I'm going to tap on this. So you're going to see if provided input and then the condition. So the condition will be is and then your password, okay? So we're doing a number password, so I would recommend that you set a password which is not the same as the password you use to unlock your device. So my password for the lock screen is 5813. Instead, I'm going to use 7370, and this password must be entered in order for the app to open. You're then going to search for here, open, okay, app see open app you're going to tap on this and we're going to need to drag and drop the open app below the if like this we're going to tap on app and we're going to select the app we would like to open so in my case the safari okay and then we have otherwise so in the search we're going to search for show alert and we see this alert here and we're going to place incorrect pin all right once we've done this we're going to move the alert to above otherwise and we're now going to go back and now we have created the shortcut. So the next step is we need to get the app icon of the app we would like to lock. So you're gonna to go to the home screen. You're gonna find the application which we're attempting to lock. So in my case, Safari. And when you see that app icon, you're gonna take a screenshot by clicking and releasing both the power key and volume up at the same time. You're going to tap on the screenshot preview you're then going to crop so that the app icon is the only thing that is visible. Okay, so we're going to crop. And this doesn't need to be perfect, but do give it, you know, a good shot, right? So, we're going like that. I'm going to move this. And you can also use your fingers to pinch in more than it allows. Okay, boom. And I'm going to tap on done save the photos and then once we have that we're going to go back into the shortcuts app we're going to tap on the triple dots for our shortcut we're going to tap on the share icon here you're going to see add to home screen tap on add to home screen where it says app locked just change this to the name of the app 
tap on the blue or whatever app icon you see select choose photo select the app icon you cropped like this use and then we're going to tap on add so now we have this safari here and then we have the regular safari so if you you know want to have a perfect app icon you can go to the photos here and if you go to the library edit you can do more cropping around right so what you would do if you tap on this here square and try and get a perfect crop if you would like but in my case this is good enough so when i open this up you can see here enter password to open safari so if i enter in the wrong password the access is denied I enter in the correct password access is granted the issue is the regular safari app is here so we're going to hide that from the home screen we do this by long pressing on the app remove app and remove from home screen if you uninstall the app you're trying to lock then because the app is uninstalled it's not going to open so only remove from the home screen and then place the lock tap back in its position and then there we go it's locked now a couple of things to note first of all if someone uses the search they can search up with the app here but we can block that you do this by opening up settings you're going to find where it says siri and search you're then going to scroll down until you see the app in question tap on the app and turn off show app and search and just turn all of these off right here and once you've done that when you search for safari the only thing that shows up is the locked version okay finally if someone is smart enough they can go to the app library to open up your locked app but just keep in mind with this that as long as you place the application somewhat obvious so on the home screen dock or on the first page of the home screen if you're trying to lock the app from someone else they're going to open up that app icon from the home screen they're not going to suspect that you you know did some trick to lock the app that most people are not going to have the tech knowledge to bypass the lock all right so there's not much to worry about as long as they don't go to the app library you're good most people including me don't use the app library we either open up the app from the home screen or we go to the search and both ways the locked app is the only app which will show up with that being said if you would like to support my channel and you use amazon if you buy anything from my amazon affiliate link in the description i'll get a commission amazon usually takes so if you think about buying something just click the link Bye, and then I'll get that commission. Bye-bye.